Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is continuation of year 8 paper 1, the sample paper. So in the first video we did question 1 to 13, in this video we will cover the remaining questions. So before we start the video, I would request you guys to subscribe to my channel. If it's helping you, please press the like button and share it with your friends. And those who have already subscribed, thank you so much guys for your support. So let's start. Uh, 14 number A, tick to show whether each of the statement above about the line x equal to 5 is true or false. The line x equals to 5 is parallel to x axis. So this is our coordinate axis, right? So this is x and this is y axis, uh, sorry y dash. This is y and this is origin. So x equals to 5, x is 1, 2, 3 like somewhere here let's say it's 5, right? x equals to 5 is going to be this line. This line x equals to 5 right so this line is not parallel to x axis but it is parallel to y axis so this is false right and second x equals to 5 passes through point negative 2 and 5 negative 2 is going to be this side and 5 is somewhere here so line is here so it's also false it cannot pass there now line x equals to 5 is perpendicular to line y negative 3 y negative 3 is going to be somewhere here this is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 so yes they are perpendicular so this is correct now the next one part b we have here uh, write down the equation of two different lines that are parallel to line y equals to 4 so y equals to 4 now you see here i'm just taking rough diagram here so this is y axis x axis so this is let's say this is 2 this is 4 y equals to 4 is this line right so any line when y equals to something is uh, is 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 parallel to 4 so we can take y equals to let's say 2 and we can take negative value of y equals to minus 3 so any line is going to be parallel now for the line y equals to 5 minus 3x write down the gradient and intercept with the uh, the y axis now if you see the gradient here is so this is y equals to mx plus c we can uh, sorry uh, yeah so we have written this into mx plus c form where c is the y intercept and m is the gradient so m gradient is negative 3 and y intercept is 5 right Now, number 15, draw a ring around uh, all of the calculations that are equivalent to uh, this 9 over 16 times uh, divided by 3 over 4. So, now let's see uh, 9 over 16. So, 9 that means 9 over 16 times if you reverse this 4 over 3. Now, let's see which one here. Uh, 16 over 9 this is not then 9 over 16 times 4 over 3 we have here 9 over 4 times uh, 1 over 3 uh, let's try to simplify this yeah 4 times 1 and 4 times 4 so 9 over 4 times 1 over 3 this is correct and then 16 over 9 which is not possible uh, this is 3 over 4 times 1 over 1 so again let's simplify this one 1 3 times 3 9 so this is 3 over 4 times 1 over 1 so these 3 and also this is 3 times 2 is 6 over 8 is it uh, 2 over 4 yeah if you simplify here it will become 3 over 4 times 1 over 1 this is and this is same so be careful to do these calculations uh, now part b calculate 3 times 1 5 over 6 <clears throat> 3 times when you break this up 6 times 1 6 plus 5 is 11 over 6 give your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form so 33 over 6 so divide 33 by 6 6 times 5 is 30 minus 3 so remember denominator remains in denominator remainder goes up divisor is here 5 3 over 
6 or we can in simplest form right so you must write it is 5 and a half don't give answer in decimal or uh, 5 or 3 over 6 you will lose one mark because it says write in simplest form always remember to underline the keywords so that you can remember in the end and double check that okay number 16 Yuri records the number of uh, goals scored in a in one season by each of the players in two football teams here are the results for 11 teams in team a so we have the results here complete the stem and leaf diagram so we can take one by one we have the key here we need to mention the key also uh, so now here 2 4 2 4 is going to be here i will write it in the uh, side so that they should come in the uh, order so then we have 17 we will write 7 here uh, 4 4 will come here 4 and 2 42 this is gone then we have 31 1 here then 45 uh, is here 5 is here 28 8 will go here 36 6 is here 10 0 goes here 23 3 1 7 1 9 right so we are done now we have to rearrange sorry 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 this 7 and 9 is not here 7 17 it's 17 and 19 so 7 and 9 it will come here right so now we will rearrange 0 7 7 and 9 it should be in increasing order right then this is 3 4 and 8 this is 1 and 6 this is 2 and 5 now it's done now the key key is like 1 0 1 0 represents uh, 10 represents 10 goals right 10 goals scored uh, so now part b uh, yuri's result for players in team b are summarized in the label in the table sorry uh, goal scored here team a team b median and range complete team uh, for table for team a okay so this is median so that means we are going to find out the median here median here is going to be this is already in order so we can 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 so what are you left with 2 and 4 that is 24 so median is 24 and for the range range is maximum value minus minimum value right so maximum value here is um, 45 and minimum is 10 so 45 minus 10 that is 35 right so this is 35 okay now part c uh, write down two comparisons between team a and team b so we uh, need to relook here on the scores here we have this one here if you see range of team a is less than range of team uh, b so that so shows that team a is more consistent so we can write down team a a is more consistent in the performance consistent right and if you compare uh, then uh, the array median median here is 4 and team b has median more so we can say that player in team a score scored fewer goals on average so on average team a has less number of scores than team b so we can see say that team a team a players team a's players scored fewer goals or less goals lesser goals than team b right so that's it for the comparison number 17 this is a bit different but you see this is a lengthy question but there is two mark only for this but you need to be patient 
uh, to do the correct calculation. Now we have six students start to solve 50 minus 2x equals to 28 in different ways. For each student, tick correct to show if the statements are true or false. So let's start with the first one. So he did 2x 28 minus 50. So he brought 50 here this side, but then he missed here negative sign of fear. So this is false right and the second one here 50 minus so what he did he made uh, he brought two 2x to other side so 28 plus 2x so this is true right and this one here what he did uh, he shifted uh, what 28 and 50 so if we shift 2x to other side that's fine that is 2x but then if you shift 28 that should be negative so this is uh, is it this was also false now this one here is uh, he divided the whole equation by 2 right if you divide this by 2 this by 2 this is 14 this is 25 over x so this is true and here this one 50 minus 2x so he shifted 28 this side and 2x this side this is also true and this one here is 50 minus so negative 2 remains here he shifted 50 to other side that became negative so this is also correct so see it took less time if you go step by step number 18 the diagram shows an isosceles triangle we have this isosceles triangle here work out the value of x so if the triangle is isosceles then that means these angles will be equal right for isosceles triangle these two triangle angles are supposed to be equal so 6x minus 15 will be equals to 2x plus 29 find the value of x now we just solve it shift 2x to this side it will become negative 2x then 29 is already there shift 15 to other side that will become positive 15 6 minus 2 is 4 so this is going to be 9 plus 5 14 this is 44 divide by 4 divide by 4 so x is 11 right now number 19 here are three equations uh, we have these three equations work out the value of p n and p so there are three marks question three different questions so we have 80 equals to 2 power m times 5 so for that we will make the factors of 80 2 40 then 2 20 2 and then we have 10 here then 2 5 2 uh, sorry 5 and here it is 1 so what we got here 1 2 3 4 4 2 power this became 2 power 4 times 5 so value of m if you compare m is 4 so m is 4 now move to the next one similarly we will do this is 2 power n 3 power 2 so 72 make the factors again 2 36 dividing by 2 9 <coughs> 3 this so we have 1 2 3 2 power 3 and 3 power 2 if you compare now n is 3 right now we have this 80 times 72 is equal to 2 power p times 3 power 2 times 5 now 80 factors of 80 we got here 2 power 4 times 72 is 2 power 3 times 3 power 2 uh, equals to 2 power p we will carry this on so 2 power 7 this 4 plus 3 into 3 power 2 into 5 you see now this and this is same so we compare this so p is 7 from here right i hope you guys got it so now if you like this my explanation please subscribe and share it with your friends and press the like button that give me motivation to do more papers for you guys so number 20 this is the last question of this paper so we have some this triangle over 2.7 equals to 0 0.43 so find the value of this so it's just like cross multiply so triangle is going to be 0 0.43 times 2.7 right so just multiplying this 43 by 27 7 times 3 21 
7 times 4 28 plus 2 it's 30 then 3 times 2 is 6 4 times 2 is 6 1 6 and um, 43 times 21 30 let me recheck 3 times 2 6 oh sorry 4 times 2 is 8 8 plus 3 is 11 so we got 1 1 6 1 we, I just you see I just multiplied the numbers don't carry decimals here now we will count the decimal place 1 decimal place 2 and 3 start from here 1 2 3 so your answer is 1.161 right so that's it for this video I hope you guys understood everything please press the like button and I will wait for your feedback in the comment section thank you so much god bless you guys